Today I'm going to show you eight clean music video effects in DaVinci Resolve. If you like the look of any of these effects, make sure to head to the link in the description to check out my clean transition pack, which is very similar. I'm also going to be giving away one of the packs for free to someone who comments below, so make sure to do that if you're interested. Let's jump in. Paper border effect. Option click on your clip and drag it above itself to duplicate it. Select the top clip, go to fusion. Select media in one and press shift spacebar. Search for magic mask and press enter. Hover the playhead to the start of your clip. Roughly draw around your subject. In the inspector, change the mode to better and the refine range to 50. Now press this button to track forward. When it's finished, go back to the edit page. In effects, search for paper edge and apply it to the top clip. Now go up to the inspector and adjust the border width and color to your liking. Triple person effect. Option, click on your clip and drag it above itself to duplicate it. Go to Fusion, select Media in 1 and press Shift Spacebar. Search for Magic Mask and press Enter. Hover the playhead to the start of the clip and roughly draw around your subject. In the Inspector, change the mode to Better and the Refine range to 50. Now press this button to track forward. Go back to the Edit page. Select the top clip. Hold Option and drag it above itself twice to get four layers stacked like this. Hover your playhead to the middle of these clips, select the second most top clip, go up to the inspector, keyframe the position and adjust the X position until your subject moves out from behind like this. Hover your playhead to the beginning of your clip and set X position value to zero. Hover your playhead to the end of the clip and do the same thing. Now repeat this process for the clip below, but adjust the X position value to have the subject appear out to the right. Now go to effects. Search for Motion Blur and apply it to these clips. Go up to the inspector and adjust the value to your liking. Motion Trails Effect Option click on your clip and drag it above itself to duplicate it. Select the top clip, go to Fusion, select Media in 1 and press Shift Spacebar. Search for Trails, go to the inspector, change the Apply Mode to Screen. Decrease the gain until your image is back to the proper exposure. Now hover the playhead to the middle of your clip, keyframe the scale, and increase the value to however intense you want the effect to be. Hover your playhead 5 frames back and change the scale back to 1. Hover your playhead 5 frames forward and do the same thing. Now go back to the edit page and check it out. This would also be a good place to add in an effect from my clean transitions pack like the in and out rotate effect. Stop motion music video effect. Go to Effects, search for Stop Motion and apply it to the clip you want the effect on. Go up to the Inspector and increase the frame repeat if you want the motion to lag longer. I like setting mine to 3. Then in Effects, search for Motion Blur and apply it to the clip. Finally, we'll add in a Film Flash and a Camera Shake Flash from my Clean Transitions Pack. Flicker Strobe Effect Create an adjustment clip above the clip you want to add the effect to. In effects, search for Flicker Edition and apply it to the adjustment clip. Go up to the inspector and adjust the flicker range and speed to your liking. Flicker Lift has only the shadow areas flickering, Gamma is midtones, and Gain is highlights. I prefer Flicker Gain. You can also go to Video in the inspector, scroll down to Composite, and play around with the different composite modes to get interesting effects. If you want to fade the effect out, simply drag these fade sliders on the adjustment clip and pull them in. Speed Flash Effect so first you want to find a clip where your subject's moving around a lot and drag it above the clip you want to add the effect to. On the top clip, right click and go to change clip speed. Toggle on ripple timeline and change the speed to 1000. Go to effects, search for directional blur and apply it to this top clip. Finally, select the top clip, go to the color tab and increase the gain slightly. For a better result, you can also drag in one of my film flash or soft glow generators from my transition pack. Diamond refocus effect. Create an adjustment clip above the clip you want to add the effect to. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Alpha Matte Shrink and Grow, and press Enter. Select it, go up to the Inspector, change the output process to RGB and Alpha, change the Morph operation to Grow, change the shape to Diamond. Now hover the playhead to the middle of your clip, keyframe the radius, change the value to around 0.5. Hover your playhead to the start of your clip and change the radius to 0. Hover your playhead to the end of the clip and do the same thing. And there you go. Photo Freeze Effect Find the moment in your clip you want to freeze and create a cut point. Right click on the second clip, change clip speed, select freeze frame, 
Change. Now drag this out for however long you want the clip to freeze for. Go to Effects, search for CCTV, and apply it to this clip. In the Inspector Effects, decrease all these values to zero, except for the scan lines, increase all the way to 0.3. We're going to use this to mimic the look of a scan reflection on a printed photo. Go up to Effects, Brightness Flash, and add it between your clips. If you want an even cleaner flash look, add in my in and out flash transition from my clean transition pack. Now just add in a camera flash sound and you're good to go.